Hello everyone. We are going to talk about vectors. Okay? So what are vectors? So in physics, actually there are uh in chapter 1 in our first lecture video, we are talking about uh, different physical quantities, diba? So but there are also cut there are also way on how to categorize a uh, physical quantities. So there can be vector or they can be a scalar quantities okay so it is very important to know the two kinds of physical quantities in physics so the vector and scalar quantities so here is the outline of our lecture for today so we have the vectors and scalar quantities in physics then some properties of a vector and then the vector operation using component so we have the vector addition and vector subtraction Okay, so let's do this. So, vectors are very important and very, uh, kasi always kasi, kasi siya makikita sa, I mean, we are dealing always with vectors in physics. Kaya, it is very important to study about vectors. Almost all of the quantities sa physics are vectors okay so what are the difference between a scalar quantity and a vector quantity so if we are talking about scalar ito yung mga physical quantity na hindi na kailangan ng direction okay so hindi na hindi na sila kailangan ng direction to completely describe for example this quantity for example uh, temperature we don't need a uh, any direction to completely describe the physical quantity na temperature right so hindi uh you will not report your your temperature as one degree celsius north so it is very like awkward to say that because there is no such thing as a quantity like that in temperature because temperature are scalar quantities so meron siyang magnitude lang so, the magnitude is actually the yung numerical value tsaka yung unit of measurement. Okay, so nandun yun sa chapter 1. So, alam yun yun. So, the magnitude. So, how about the speed? So, the speed is actually uh, is the quantity that describe how fast the, uh, the object is moving. So, for example, 25 meters per second. So, ganun lang. So, hindi mo na kailangan ng direction para ma-completely describe mo yung speed ng isang object. Okay? So, how about the volume? So, for example, the volume of this rectangular box. So, makita nyo, hindi naman kayo mag-ano ng... Uh, the volume of this box is equal to 20 cubic centimeter uh, north. So, it's very awkward to, al to also uh, to say that because these are... Uh, scalar quantity so hindi na sila kailangan ng a uh, direction but for vector quantities so ito yung mga quantities na ma completely describe mo lang if you have the magnitude and the direction so ito na so meron na siyang direction ito yung mga quantities na kailangan mo na i-report yung deme ay yung direction niya hindi lang yung magnitude niya kundi yung Direction. So, for example, I have a displacement here. So, the displacement is uh, a vector quantity. So, for example, uh, I report the displacement as 1 meter north. Okay? So, 1 meter north displacement is not equal to 1 meter south na displacement. Okay? So, although same sila ng magnitude, but different kasi ang direction nila. So, they are not equal basically. Okay, so ang yung isang displacement is sa north, ay yung isang displacement is sa south. Okay, so hindi, hindi. Uh, these are quantities na hindi pwede. Okay, so hindi pwede mag-equal if hindi uh, equal yung direction nila at saka yung magnitude. So how about yung velocity? So velocity is same lang din sila sa speed pero yung velocity kasi is uh, kay, may, kailangan na siya ng direction okay the magnitude of the velocity this one for example 25 meters per second north so meaning na meron na siyang magnitude 
and meron din siyang direction. So, these are velocity. Now, the magnitude of the velocity, the 25 meters per second, is actually the speed. Okay? So, ganun lang. Ganun lang yung difference ng speed at saka velocity. Same lang din sa displacement at saka distance na the displacement is the vector representation of your distance. So, ganun. ba? Diba? So, I will just... Uh, explain this later sa ating chapter 3. So, the uniform, uh, the motion in straight line. So, another type of, another example of vector quantities are those accelerations. So, mga uh, vector quantities din yun. And then, we have force and many more. So, these are the difference between a scalar quantity and a vector quantity. So, next, what are the properties of a vector? So, since nag-talk tayo ng vectors, of course, it is very important to know the properties of a vector quantity or a, a vector itself. Okay? So, in our reference, yung dalawang reference natin, so vectors are usually denoted by this one. So, we have here A, the bold letter A, capital letter A, with a, with a arrow above. Okay? So, the arrow above means na itong quantity na to, quantity letter A, is actually a vector quantity. So, yung letter A can be any vector quantity. So, yung mga example natin, force, F, acceleration, small letter A, velocity V, displacement is uh, D or hindi, hindi, D. Uh, yeah, X or whatever. So, depende yan sa ano, reference natin. Basta, if we are talking about vector quantities, ganito yung symbol niya. Okay? So, bold letter A, tsaka may, uh, may arrow sa taas to indicate the direction of the, uh, I mean, to indicate na itong quantity na to is a vector quantity. So, some reference naman use a bold face letters. For example, if, uh, if you are very kanang uh, na very tired in using a uh, arrow above so you can bold face naman the letter for vectors okay so i can also accept that one as a vector notation so what are the prop uh, what are the parts of a vector quantity so in space a vector is represented by this one so meron tayong vector quantity a tapos ito yung representation niya okay so we have this one so, the parts of a vector composed of a body at saka yung head niya. Okay? So, parang arrow lang yung vector natin. So, the body is actually the length of the vector quantity. For example, if I am talking about a force, so itong, itong length na to is actually the magnitude of the force. Okay? So, the magnitude of the force is always positive number or any vector quantity so always ito positive kasi in magnitude kasi ito okay so the body or the length of the ve of the of the vector now the arrow head is actually the represents the direction of the vector so kung saan siya patungo okay ganun lang so ganun lang direction natin ng uh, ganun na yung mga parts of a vector so we have the body which represents the magnitude. Ang length niya is a magnitude. Tapos yung arrowhead represents the direction of your vector. So, since ang example natin is A, so we have to stick with letter A. So, again, A is any vector quantities. Okay? So, another properties of a vector is this one. So, this is very important. Okay? So, yung dalawang vectors natin, say, meron tayong vector A, tsaka yung B, they are only equal if they have the same magnitude and they have the same direction. So, yun lang. So, this, uh, this statement is actually equal to, I mean, is the property of a vector called the equality of vectors. Kaya pwede tayo, pwede tayo maglagay ng any vectors as long as meron silang same na magnitude at saka meron silang same na direction. Okay, for example, like this one. This vector is pwede mong ilagay dito. Okay, so as long as they have the same magnitude, meaning the length, length ng vector na to at saka 
same direction then they are equal so this one also we can pwede dito ilagay dito okay so as you can see here then these three are also equal na vectors then we can also uh, draw a vector here which are equal which is equal to these three vectors so they have the same direction they have the same length so okay lang so they can you can move any vector in space as long as we have the same magnitude and same direction so pwede kang mag move ng any vectors without varying the property of that vector okay so these are the equality of vectors now the next property of a vector is commutative law of addition so ito yung mag add na tayo ng vectors okay so ano pala yung order ng addition natin in terms of vectors okay so, for example, if meron akong vector A na ganito, plus i-add ko ito sa vector B na ganito, so, the order of addition is independent. Okay? So, yung sum nyo ng A plus B is actually equal to B plus A. So, hindi sila mag magdepende sa order of addition because of the commutative law of addition. So, the sum is usually uh, known as the resultant so as you can see letter r here so resultant siya so for example if i want to add a plus b so graphically we can add two vectors by by connecting the tail of vector b sa head ni vector a so as you can see here so una muna si a so i will draw letter a here tsaka Next is, either draw ko naman si letter B, which is a straight line. Ay, yung nga dito. So, i-connect ko lang yung tail ni B sa head ni A. So, ganun yun. So, this is actually the tail, uh, head-to-tail method of adding vectors graphically. So, me, uh, so I will, so, meron naman ito sa, ano nyo, sa, sa laboratory nyo. So, you can actually, uh, dun, dun yun ma, ano, ma, ma-focus yung graphical method on vector addition so ito just a uh, visualization lang para ma makita nyo kung uh, what is actually the commutative law of addition okay so we have here a tsaka tapos si b tapos yung resultant nyo is connecting the the start uh, yung resultant nyo is starting from the tail of a patungo sa he head ni b so ganito so from tail ni A, yung starting point, tsaka ni end point. Gito. Yung dalawang vector. So, the length, <clears throat> so, this vector is actually the resultant, meaning yung yung sum ng A at tsaka ni B. Ganito lang. So, that is actually A plus B. Now, how about if we add B plus A? So, ito yung, uunahin mo na yung pag-add mo si B, tsaka tap A, tsaka a tapos okay so a after okay so first we have to connect uh, we have to draw b here so the, ito yung b natin so ikaw connect yung tail ni a sa head ni b so ito then the resultant is connecting the tail of b tapos ni head ni a so ikaw connect mo lang yung starting point mo tsaka yung ano ito yung mm, end point so the resultant is actually this vector okay so that is the sum of b plus a now the resultant here ito yung adding yung uh, yung first mo i-add is si a is actually equal to this resultant here yung inuna mong pag-add si b okay so equal lang siya because of the commutative law of addition so it doesn't matter okay kung ano yung order of addition nyo because of the uh, commutative property ng vector natin.